guys welcome back to another youtube video thank you guys for being here and tuning in on another video so i'm filming this part on sunday i'm actually going to be uploading this vlog tonight i just wanted to film the intro to the video now because i kind of just dove right into my whole week i had a very busy week a lot of different things um which you guys will see in the vlog but i haven't really slowed down really since the pop-up and since the US Open started vlogging immediately when I got home literally the day that I got home from New York I continued to vlog I felt like I hadn't really had a moment to really like sit and reflect on the past week and like everything that's happened in the past few weeks especially not sit down and talk to you guys about everything so first i just want to say thank you to anyone not only the people that came to the pop-up obviously those people will always have a special place in my heart and i know that so many people wanted to go that couldn't go and i totally understand that but i just want to thank anyone who has ever supported anything that i've done and has rooted for me and looked for the best in me and really given me a fair shot and gotten to know me social media is weird and i think it's a lot easier to try to assume the worst of people there are just so many people who continue to support me and ride for me and the past really six months but the past like few months everything's really come together the support is just so strong and it's so there and i've never been at a place in my life i'm like getting emotional even speaking about it but i've never felt like so actually supported by people and like real people like the pop-up was a really special thing for me because i felt like numbers of followers and likes and and youtube views online over time can just sort of become numbers and i think that that is just like the human nature of it we're always striving to reach a bigger audience we're always striving to you know in our industry reach as many people as we can and have our videos perform well and it's always like kind of looking forward to the next thing and like oh can i reach 100k subscribers on youtube or oh can i reach x amount of followers on instagram and although reaching 100k on youtube was a huge moment for me I just really feel like I'm at a point in my career where I'm so good with the supporters that I have and like you guys make it feel like I have enough and like obviously I hope that I continue to succeed and grow but feeling like content and like I have such a strong amazing following is so cool because I know just from being friends with a lot of people in the industry i don't think a lot of people feel as connected to their followers as i might and i know that that's just like such a huge blessing and i hope it's because over the years like i've put out an authentic version of myself and i've been vulnerable and i think youtube has contributed a lot to that i also think i've built sort of a community through dairy boy but whatever it is it like has made me feel amazing and it's made me feel so supported and like the amount of people that came to the pop-up just like I'll never ever forget that and no matter how hard my job gets or things get because things are gonna happen and, and you know I'm a human I'm gonna make mistakes and things are gonna happen I just like know that I have this like really solid group of individuals supporting me so for that I just want to thank you guys and I just had to include that in this video because I feel like I literally haven't had the second to like sit down and and think and talk about the pop-up and what that meant to me and even being in urban outfitters um my brand selling on urban outfitters in this vlog you will see that i had a meeting with urban outfitters and i um talked about the meeting a little bit i included some of the meeting but our product was the number one product on urban outfitters like for those days that they were on the site or urban outfitters called us wanting a lot more product and also to have our product in all of their 50 stores also their men's department it's insane that you guys have afforded me this opportunity to create products that i love and share them and now they're gonna be in stores which is something that i personally can't offer right now so i'm just like extremely extremely grateful they also launched camo online this week and it sold out in 30 minutes um it's just been a really crazy few months and i just feel like i said this on my instagram i grew up and i think just in my industry i always set very high standards for myself and i had a hard time feeling proud of myself doing what i'm doing and also i think that having such a strong present following also means there's the negative side of what a really strong community brings which is like a really strong negative community i don't know i haven't always been super proud of my content i haven't always been super proud of myself honestly and i just like finally 
am and although I am like still like how can we make it better how can we do things better and I'm just like always trying to make things the best that they can I'm trying to learn and I feel like I'm getting in a better place with myself where I'm like I can be proud of where I'm at and know where I'm going definitely like finally have taken a moment to be proud of myself and there's a lot in this vlog it's a lot of like kind of like random stuff throughout my week um, I really wanted to get another home vlog in for you guys and I knew this was going to be a busy week. The beginning of this vlog is me getting Amanda's birthday dinner ready and that was just like really special. It's crazy because Monday feels like a month ago. But yeah, I did a little birthday dinner for Amanda which you guys will see. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog and yeah. guys i just finished doing the dishes i'm gonna go to bed soon and and sebi um just left i'm pretty tired we have a very long day tomorrow so I'm gonna try to get to bed early just because like tomorrow's our first day back in the office since before the pop-up we just have like a lot to go over and the camel is launching on wednesday so just making sure everything is like squared away for that is important. Um, gonna work tomorrow, go to the barn. And yeah, I will see you guys in the morning. Good morning vlog. I just kind of got ready for the day, put on this set that Set Active sent me. I think we're gonna go get a coffee, go for like a little walk. I wanna go check out my garden, see how that's doing. And then back to like a work week. I have a lot of work to do today. And then I wanna also go see my horse. I also have a lot of gifting that I wanna show you guys. So at some point today, we can go through some gifting. I will leave the link to this set in the bio. It's really high quality and really, really cute. Okay guys, Lauren and I just picked vegetables. Taste test. It's gonna be so good. Do you like, um, you don't like tomatoes, right? No, but I feel like I would like Give it a tomatoes. shot. Yeah, give it a shot. This one looks cute, I'm gonna wash it. Okay. Cucumber haul. Yum. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Wait. It's slaying. Why do I like it? It's really good. Wait, I like cucumbers. I think the tomatoes. Tomatoes. Yeah, same thing. I'm waiting to like not like it. But it's so good. It's so good. <laughs> That's really scary. <laughs> That's mm. crunchy. That just rocked my fucking world. I'm the best cucumber I've ever had. Ever. Oh wow. my god.
Okay, Liv and I are just watching tennis and getting ready. Cam all ready for tomorrow. And then we're just watching some tennis. We've been watching all the matches today. This is definitely the most exciting match that's on to Americans. Good morning, guys. Olivia and I are about to go live. Oh, it's 10 right now. I'm currently fully in the camo set. A thousand orders in four minutes. Oh my God. Holy shit. Shut up. <laughs> okay guys, Laura and I are about to go ride. I've never tried pumpkin spiced anything. Hi. Can I please get a um, iced latte with regular milk? Medium. I don't do the words. I just I don't participate in that. <laughs> You're like I'm too busy. I'm yeah, too busy. <laughs> and then can I get um pumpkin cold foam. cold foam on top of that? Please. And then Grande latte with pumpkin cold foam. Oh, good. <laughs> Ooh. She's so good. Wait, it's so good. It's a good <gasps> amount of pumpkin, too. Like, it's not too pumpkin y. Wait, wait, wait. Life change. Plus, you're telling me this isn't all year round. Mm mm. <gasps> you look so cute this morning. <gasps> Hi, Navy Bean. You're so the cutest. <laughs> Are you an evil cavity? So oh, that mane though. <laughs> he needs to be braided again. You got fake feet. You will not see a fly on those chompers. <laughs> like you just won't. I don't get how you do that. You don't. You can't. No, do that. that makes you me do? so scared. To keep one like. I that. take both out. My hair looks crazy. I look so crusty. It's giving summer horse camp. No, it's giving Miley Stewart summer. <laughs> Cheers. The only thing we ate today is sugar. Mm -hmm. That's the best. Mm -hmm. Oh, that is so refreshing. That is so good. I just had a quick meeting. Olivia's on another call right now and I just had to get ready because I'm heading into New York City. So I have to attend something for Fashion Week. But before I go, I'm just making like a quick Caesar salad wrap. I actually made this in my last vlog. It's really nothing crazy. I used like a Caesar salad kit for my Caesar wraps and then I just like marinate chicken really well. Anyways, I'm heading to a Fashion Week event tonight. This year I got invited to, which is really funny because I obviously don't live in Manhattan anymore, um, but I've got invited to more shows this year than ever to Fashion Week. Um, but to be honest, guys, like it just doesn't really interest me very much. It's not something that makes me feel good and happy, you know, unless it's a paid commitment. Um, I really didn't want to attend Fashion Week. I also just feel like, I don't know, I'm not like hating on anyone in my industry who wants to be a part of it or wants to go not really like a fashion girl i like style a lot i feel like it's not really like my space and it's not super me um there are some brands that i got invited to that i was like oh fuck i would actually really like to go to that and they can be really cool it's just like i would rather spend my time that i have at home and be like here with my horse and my family and yeah, because, you know, I spend so much time on the road now because of Tommy's schedule. Yeah, like, I just didn't need to go to Fashion Week. I also just feel like it's, like, a little bit of icky. I don't know. I just like, don't love Fashion Week. I never have. So I'm not really going to be participating unless I'm getting paid. Um, so I am getting paid tonight. Or otherwise, I would literally not be going to Manhattan. Guys, honestly, I have no desire <laughs> to be going to New York right now being honest with you guys like the last place <laughs> i want to go right now is manhattan but it's work and that's just life we're gonna go and i'm probably gonna have fun because i love rowing blazers and i'm very grateful to be work working with such a brand that i love i did an interview last summer with rowing blazers i've been wearing their stuff forever it's very like preppy but edgy which i find really really cool and then target obviously is just such an iconic cool brand but I also just realized that I've been showing barn content that I didn't explain on my YouTube 
the changes that I've made with my barn situation. So my horse Navy, I moved him to a barn that's three minutes away from me. It's a predominantly English barn and it's with stalls and he just like wasn't doing very well at the other barn. So the other barn is like a Western trail riding barn, which I love, but I wanted a horse that was a little bit more athletic. I wanted a horse that wasn't like my horse Louie is like an old, old trail riding horse. Structure really wasn't working out for Navy. He just was like not really behaving super well and I wasn't feeling super safe for riding him in the trails alone because I feel like he just like wasn't comfortable with the structure. Anyways, long story short, I moved Navy. Also, my other barn is 30 minutes away from me so it's very hard for me to go every day and the traveling, especially during rush hour, it sometimes took me like an hour and a half, two hours to even like go to the barn. So it's really been nice that Navy is so close to me and I'm riding him more and spending more time with him. He's a very young horse. He's definitely gonna take love, attention, and working with him. And I love him, he's great. I was actually thinking about maybe rehoming him, like he wasn't a good fit for me. I just think he really wasn't a good fit for that barn because I love him so much. So trying out this new barn and he's been so much better and just so that makes me super, super happy because I really didn't want to have to sell him. Um, but that happens in the horse world, which like a lot of people don't really know about. You can get a horse and it's not a good fit and then you sell it and that's just like how it goes sometimes. It's obviously like not less sad, it's still sad, but yeah. So that's the update with Navy and that's why in this video I've been at a new barn situation. But I'm gonna run into the city now and then I will show you guys the event and then I'm gonna come home and yeah. So I'm gonna run to the market right now. Also, I'm wearing a Dairy Boy little sweat set. It was from the pop-up, but we're gonna add like some of the stuff online because I hate that some of you guys missed out on that. But um, I'm gonna run to the market. I saw this recipe on TikTok. I wasn't really hungry. And then I saw this recipe on TikTok for this soup. And guys, like I love soup. I'm a soup girl and I haven't made soup in a while. It also was like 100 degrees today, but I still really wanna make this soup that I saw on TikTok, so I thought I would bring you guys to the market with me and then I can make the soup and, and show you guys because I have not been doing much cooking content because I've been like so fucking busy, but yeah, let's do it. I also need to call Tommy. I've been so bad about texting Tommy did send me the cutest flower bouquet today with this like balloon it was like this smiley balloon he's so cute um Tommy sends me so many flowers I'm so lucky he's just like the best boyfriend ever oh okay I'm gonna go to the market I was thinking about this today guys I don't really believe in karma. The reason I say that is because I feel like some really horrible people can get away with being really horrible for a really long time and sometimes things can happen to them and then sometimes things don't happen to them. Like I don't think karma is always served, but then again, I'm like maybe it is because anyone who is a bad person or does bad things is probably just like fucking miserable. 
all the time. Also guys, I'm looking for a really, really specific sort of pasta right now. And I'm really scared that they don't have it. But in my life, like in general, people who have been just like horrible to me, boys, like had stuff happen to them that I always think is like, hmm, is that karma? Or is that just like life catching up with them? My thought of the night. Hell yeah, exactly what we were looking for. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Like, I feel like things have happened to me where I'm like, what the fuck? That being said, everything that's happened to me in my life or like any bad thing or anything that was hard for me, like has led me to where I am now, which is an amazing place. Like I have an amazing life and amazing boyfriend. So like now at looking back, I can be like, oh, well everything I went through is worth it. And everything I went through bad and good led me to where I am now. So you could say that about anything bad that happens to you in your life. But when I see bad things happen to really bad people, I don't know if it's karma. I just think it's like a result of life catching up to them. I don't know. I was gonna get a lot more things while I was here and I completely forgot about most of the things that I was gonna get. But guys, I don't know if anyone else likes grits, but I'm like obsessed with grits. It's like- This system is closed. Good. Okay, trying again. Anyways, grits. Welcome. If you are a Scanit customer, please scan the barcode on Great. your Scanit like or Scanit mobile device. Four fifty nine two oh nine. One ninety nine. Okay, bag has been secured. I am so excited to make this soup, guys. Hey. Hey, baby. Hey. Makes me that sweatshirt. This was the one at the pop-up on Sunday. Fuck. It's sold out in like five minutes. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? It has matching sweatpants too. Yeah, what the fuck? I didn't get any? No, it sold out. <laughs> Say hi to the vlog. Hey, vlog. Okay, so you just put these veggies in chicken broth and a whole onion. I love onions. That's good. And then you let these boil and like get really soft and then you remove them, the vegetables, and blend them into like a veggie sauce and then you add it back to the soup and then you add the noodles. Okay, this has been boiling for a bit. I added a chicken breast just for flavor. I'm not sure if I'm gonna add it to the actual soup yet. I might just shred it and put it in the fridge for like salad or something, but this is just sitting. I'm gonna let it sit for longer, but you just want the veggies to like soak into the broth and get really soft. Okay, next I'm just gonna take these veggies out and put them into my blender. Okay, I'm pouring this back in. And then I'm just gonna add these little noodles. Okay guys, I'm just watching tennis right now. US Open is still going on. It is the semifinals. I'm watching Coco who is my favorite. I honestly have so much respect for everyone who plays tennis. And there are a lot of really amazing American tennis players um, who I've enjoyed following. But I love rooting for Coco. I think she's so cool. She's also just like a really, really nice girl. Super down to earth, very humble. I, yeah, I'm just a, I'm a big fan. I really love rooting for her. And she is about to win in the semifinals, which means she'll make it to the finals, which means she'll have a chance of winning. That would be insane. I would literally be so fucking happy for her. So fingers crossed that she wins. It would also be really cool for America. I'm always rooting for the Americans. Um, I'm so happy when any of the American players, guys or girls, do well. I was supposed to go to a Dior beauty event tonight, guys, and that was the only other fashion week thing I was going to go to. I ended up not going. I really wanted to go to support the brand because I really love the brand, but I'm so glad, honestly, that I've stayed home. <laughs> I'm watching a lot of like fashion week stories. I'm so good watching from home. I'm happy for the people that are having fun and like getting dressed up and having fun at fashion week because I know it's really fun and exciting for a lot of people. My soup is done, guys. It literally, is so fucking good. It's like these little star noodles and this like really flavorful broth. Also, it's really good with cheese. 
good morning vlog thought i would bring you guys along with me because i'm gonna go run and do some errands right now i shot most of my content yesterday so i didn't have to shoot anything today ad wise so that's really nice we have a bunch of people here working today just on dairy boy stuff we've been having meetings all morning i think we have one meeting with urban today and then that's it for the day so yeah okay i think olivia and i are actually now gonna hop on the call with urban turn off the ac it's so loud we're working really hard on getting up a pre-order for the camo that sold out it literally sold out in like 30-ish minutes um all of our units and we had a lot so we're working on a pre-order so um i just really want everyone to be able to get them okay i just got approved to go live with my ad for dsw so i'm gonna post that right now Hi, good how are you good how are you guys we're Sorry, good. You're busy. Yeah, very busy, but it's all good things. That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, well, obviously, our management was super excited. They move him down to this barn during the day because it gets too hot in his barn. Up top, hi, Bean. It's about to storm. Hi, sweet Bean. Hi, sweet boy. Hey, sweet boy. Blind mice. <laughs> Two blind mice. Good morning, guys. We're about to go to Starbucks. Amanda has never tried the pumpkin anything. anything. Ooh. <laughs> I mean, she's never tried the pumpkin anything, but that was literally me at the beginning of this vlog. I went to Starbucks with Lauren and tried the pumpkin for the first time, so take two. What's your reasoning for never trying any of the pumpkin flavored anything? I'm not like a pumpkin gal. You're not? <laughs> Like, but you don't I like, like like pumpkin cookies and like. So then, why are you a pumpkin gal? I don't gal? know. You're not a pumpkin drink gal. I mean, I wasn't yeah. either. I think I just always thought it would taste like shit. Yeah, same. Like, why are why is there pumpkin in my drink? Yeah. Like, leave it in the muffin. But I was so fucking wrong. Excited. Oh, guess get what you get. Aw. Mm. Wonder if they have like pumpkin loaves. Oh, they do. They oh, do? they do. They have a fucking bomb pumpkin loaf. Okay, I need that. Um, I'm warmed up. Yeah, but. Amanda and I wanted to go to Pop Up Bagels. I don't know if you guys have heard of it. Vlog alert! I'm doing a TikTok vlog. Go like it. Oh, subscribe. you are. <laughs> you guys don't go subscribe to Amanda. You're fake. <laughs> you're literally. Like, you're literally so fake. I get one like. <laughs> guys, I literally have been harassing Amanda to start a YouTube channel. Well, I bought a camera. Hi. Yes. Can I please get a latte, an iced latte with regular milk and sweet pumpkin cold foam? Medium, please. Anything else? Can I get two of those? And then the two pumpkin loaves. Four? Yes, please. Anything else? That's it. Thanks. A name for the order? Oh, Paige. Thanks, Amanda. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm. -hmm. Right? That's good. Mm-hmm. Right? Hmm. I always imagined it like tasting like a janky sort of pumpkin. Yeah, like, no, it tastes like fine. It tastes like real pumpkin. Like the literally the cold. Cold. It's too thick though. Oh. Okay. Okay, time for pumpkin loaf. Mm -hmm. I'm ready for fall. Like, can the weather drop? I know. Wait, that's so good. Hey guys, they thought Paige. Wait, wait. <laughs> Her name was wait, Queen. Oh my God. I'm so Did you dead. hear me say Queen? 
you guys think you're a queen. queen. <laughs> I don't know why I think oh that's so God. funny. Thank you.